Here at Cabrini, students are offered numerous internship opportunities right on campus. Sophomore Epi Soldados is one of many that is getting not only real work experience, but also academic credit by interning in Cabrini's undergraduate admissions office alongside Andy Halstead, the assistant director for undergraduate admissions. Andy makes me feel very comfortable working with him. He trusts me enough to kind of put my input in decisions that are made for accepted students day or for open house. He trusts me to um, do the tasks that he does give me. I have her go through um, a couple things just to see if she has any new ideas, especially for events. Um, she had a pretty um, cool idea for, for new giveaways for students. Um, and I always love getting her input. For accepted students day right now, we're just picking out uh, some, th some giveaways that we can give to our prospective students as well as getting our quotes ready that goes into our books that the prospective students get. Um, Effie's personality definitely showed through. Um, she's so bubbly, bright, and has a great smile and is always so willing to go above and beyond. So that's something that really stuck out from the rest. So working with prospective students and kind of seeing where their questions were and how they feel before they come into college kind of reminds me of myself and how I felt. It's good to kind of put your own uh, personal things into it and make the prospective student feel comfortable um, and that they weren't they're not alone. My name is Samantha Murray. I'm a senior history and English double major with a political science and theater minor and I am the current honors intern for the Office of Admissions. I am Sarah Lassoff. I'm the senior associate director of admissions uh, at Cabrini University and my intern is Samantha Murray. I do a lot of work with the um, prospective honor students. She helps coordinate honors day when our students come in and get to know the honors program. I'll call them at night to see if they haven't put in their honors application yet. She helps coordinate any honors shadow days. So if an honors student wants to come in and spend the day, she'll be the one to find me a freshman that they can follow around and have lunch with. And it's just basically working one-on-one -on -one with Sarah to improve a bunch of different aspects on the honors program. Honestly, I can't always get my work done without having Sam around. The time in my office is helping stay organized, helping get everything so that the students and prospective students are getting the most clean experience that they possibly can get. Um, and really her organization is what gets that and working with me. I'm Sean Daly. I'm a leadership intern for SEAL. I'm a sophomore. I'm a human resource management major with a minor in leadership studies. Hi, I'm Lisa Podolsky. I'm the Assistant Director for Leadership Development in the Center for Student Engagement and Leadership. It's the SEAL office. We do pretty much anything you can think of. Sean helps us a lot with the Lead Strong program in particular and all of our leadership development that we do. He um, does a lot of behind the scenes stuff like updating leadership development plans so we can track what everyone is attending in the program to figure out like if they're ready to complete it and if they um, deserve the certificate yet. I'm also working with all the presidents, vice presidents of all of our student organizations on campus as well. He's also going to run his own leadership workshop for students on um, conflict management essentially. So he, he'll be directly teaching them. I think it helps me relate with people. I meet so many more people in this internship. I've met with new people. I've made such an impact on other people that I've been happy with where I'm at. I remember all the questions that I had when I was a prospective honor student and I can pretty much pinpoint any question that they're going to have. Having been in the program now for four years, I classroom coach for the ECG course for three, um, worked closely with both Dr. Wright and Dr. Permiano. I was one of her admissions counselors when she was coming in, so I know the experience she's gone through for the last five years, and I know the background and her experiences and her research and the hands-on opportunities she's had as a Romano scholar really lend itself to talking to prospective honor students. So the ins and outs of the program better than most. So any questions that they have, I love answering and love highlighting all the benefits of being in the honors program. What we do is all about the students. So if we didn't have student opinions, if we didn't have the student perspective on what we do, we wouldn't be as effective. I have gotten so much out of my comfort zone. I do things that I've never really done. I was the biggest procrastinator and now I know um, that timing is everything and you really have to be on top of your game, get deadlines in when they're supposed to, and to have more time so when you do hand something in, it's your best work and not something that you put together in two seconds. I wasn't a big fan of always working with others or being creative, and that's part of my job now is to be creative and be my own. I think that's definitely helped me.